Did you know Jean-Claude Van Damme injured a stuntman in one fight scene so badly he permanently lost an eye? Van Damme kicked off his rise to stardom in the late 1980s and one of his first leading roles was in the post-apocalyptic sci-fi action movie Cyborg. This final movie from the financially troubled studio Canon helped transform JCVD into an action icon and made him a household name. But despite Van Damme's popularity among the general public, his reputation among stunt performers behind the scenes was not so positive back then. My job was to intimidate him the whole time, and you know everyone had to kiss his ass. I found it really entertaining to f*** with him as much as I could. During the production of Cyborg, several complaints were made about the muscles from Brussels. He had a reputation for not pulling his punches during fight scenes, often causing the pain and injury to some stuntmen during filming. And apparently Van Damme felt the fight choreography wouldn't look convincing on film unless contact was made. But after multiple onset warnings and complaints, one stuntman eventually suffered a life-altering injury, and he ended up taking Van Damme to court for it. During a fight scene in Cyborg, stuntman Jackson Pickney says Van Damme stabbed him in the eye with a rubber prop knife, causing him to permanently lose vision in that eye. And came up to where he kicked the knife with my hand and the knife out of my hand and came across with the knife and to the eye. I did not hit him, I touched him. It's a difference between a touch and a hit, sir. Eventually, the court sided with Pickney and warded him with $485,000 in damages. Now, if you consider that Van Damme was only paid $50,000 for his role in Cyborg, that stuntman injury ended up putting him more than $430,000 in the hole. <laughs> now, that's some serious financial Van Damage. I'm okay.